I believe the time has come to advance the status quo and how we build. And we're going to talk about that uh, in our slide presentation here, and advanced building technologies with structural insulated panels. Here we have energy efficiency. So this was a test done in 2001 in the, in the US. So you've got the outside temperature is the blue line along the bottom. You can see it's getting quite cold there at some points, down to minus 15, up to nearly plus 5. The red line is a 6 by 2 stud wall with extra insulation. So you can see it's not doing a whole lot. The yellow line is a small 115 millimetre structural insulated panel. So what is a structural insulated panel? It consists of very simple form. We have a structural sheathing. In the example here, it's oriented stream board. The building behind is made of this particular structural insulated panel. It's a frame retardant EPS core and another piece of, of uh, sheathing on the other side. It gives us a number of advantages. It's highly accurate, it's very durable, it's faster construction, strong, a lot stronger. Energy efficiency, kind of obvious. Um, in the real world, you're getting about double the insulation, even from the smallest panel. Very healthy, no opportunity for mould to grow in the wall at all. And of course, very sustainable. So just moving on to some of the main differences uh, from conventional builds. Obviously, it, it, it's a faster, faster construction time. It doesn't become more even until further on in the construction, obviously, with the insulation going in and a rigid air barrier being uh, on the outside of the building, all going in in one process. But it does go together um, fast. It's not. Uh, it's a lot quicker as in construction. Once you do get that roof on, you can start to move on into the inside uh, construction once you get your windows on. So it can speed up construction once you do get that closed in shell. I've really enjoyed the, the journey so far, and I'm really keen to see where um, SIPS is going to end up in the New Zealand construction industry. I think it really has got a, a place to play in the market and um, I look forward to the journey. I'm here because uh, I find the New Zealand default acceptable solution unacceptable and I'm very excited because now that Form and SIPs are on the market we actually have an alternative and I'm able to provide a house built out of that alternative for my family. Given the previous slides, I was not going to ask any builder to carry a pile of sticks up that hill, cut them in half and throw half away. I was looking for something that was smarter and faster and would deliver me a better quality home. Now we all know the prefab industry has grown some legs in recent years, and so I had some lovely telephone conversations with people who all went, wow, look at that. Good luck. It's far too bespoke for us. We can't do it for you. That was until I spoke to Nick and the team at Formans. And the answer was the right one, because it was, wow, we'd love to help you build that, and here's how we can do it. Jackpot. So then we had to have the how much conversation, and the quote came through pretty quickly. I had absolutely no idea what that meant in, in real terms, because the reality is that, that very rarely do you get to extract your structure, your bracing, and your insulation as a one line item out of a preliminary cost estimate. So I sat down with Ray and I said, hey, guess what? I found this system. I think it's pretty neat. I'm not interested in pricing it against the usual rubbish. Let's price it against 150 by 50 framing, Wrap board and full fill insulation. It stacked up. So I pushed the go button and we began designing SIPs home. And it stacked up so much so that Ray, who happens to be Ben's builder, went and introduced the product to Ben. And Ben now has the privilege of being the first uh, the first person in a finished SIPs home in Auckland. But here's our um, panels sitting in a uh, warehouse in uh, East Tamaki. Panels quite a, a weird feeling to come and basically see your house before much has even happened on site. We have a giant jigsaw puzzle um, behind Kylie there's our roof panels work for the Philly Monty 315 mils and then the walls are 165, the sort of thinner ones you can see there. And pretty quickly on site uh, panels delivered and um, they were stood individually. So there's uh, Garrett and Ray looking very builder-like assessing the plans. And that's the first panel, first sort of three panels slotting into place over on our bedroom sort of side, standing all the panels up. And basically in the space of a day, it was pretty much what uh, the bedroom sort of side looked uh, like. Really satisfying as well, because you don't have the skeleton that you're looking through on a normal sort of um, timber framing. 
very quickly you could see where your windows were, where your rooms were going to be in the actual space. It actually felt like a house um, very, very quickly. Let's look at one panelization optimization, we call it. Using the panel and then using the half of the panel on the other side to actually form a wall. That makes sense. If the window was smaller, we can use offcuts bottom and top. So that's what we talk about when we say panelization. And you minimize your wastage, you can use the offcuts on the other side for another lintel and so on. If that seems too complicated, but it's not really, you can do it later as well. This is just a little example. You have an elevation, simple design, and put your grid lines on top of that. And just by that, you realize where you might shift you know, your window left or right a little bit. And but just doing that, you basically optimize your wastage. And uh, yeah, design just looks great at the end. It's easier to do it. As an industry, we believe that there is a better way. As designers, we can lead the charge. And as homeowners, we no longer need to accept or tolerate poor performing, leaky, inefficient living environments with big energy bills and sick kids. Formant 6 system is a high performance engineered system. It meets the requirements of the New Zealand Building Code. It's endorsed and certified by chartered engineering professionals such as myself. It's endorsed by Codemark and it's accepted by building consent authorities throughout the country so you can use this on your next project with confidence.